their goals are. Yeah, exactly. Um, so from an exercise point of view too, we're sort of thinking, okay, if we're moving through from two months and we can see three months and we look at, you know, look at the literature and we sort of speak to most people and they'd be thinking, um, three months is probably a timeline where most people would be considering return back to running. I don't, I don't, you know, actually probably seeing less and less people actually hitting that running mark at three months, but they've got this kind of goal of making it happen at three months. Um, but preparing the person mm. for the demands of running in this yeah. stage is really important as well. So from about eight, eight to, you know, eight to 10 weeks onwards, starting to think about, obviously in the right place at the right time, yeah. the right individual, but some of these exercises here can start preparing the body better for what's gonna come ahead with the jumping and landing stuff. So I like these uh, tall to short exercises or snap downs as people call them. Yeah. So you're up on your tippy toes and you're just whipping down really quickly into a nice little skiers position there or an athletic stance position as some people like to call it. Um, and you can sort of change this from a double leg to a single leg as well with the right person, the right time and, and the right surface. Here I'm just progressing a little bit with a little pop off the ground, so they're getting yeah. a little bit of impact. It's, yeah. it's just subtle, but it's enough yeah. just to sort of take the, the more stationary exercise to a little bit more of a dynamic there in a, in a safe way. So a couple of sets of six, you know, I think is a nice way to sort mm. of introduce this kind of stuff. Um, this is box is probably a little bit too high for most people at this stage, but certainly some box jumps can be um, also used at, at the right time to help them develop power, but also to get them used to shock absorbing as well yeah. without the high demand, high level plyometric work, yeah. which will sort of come further ahead. But to teach them to jump, to teach them to land is also too something we can do. Just got to pick, yeah. pick the person, go back yeah. to the efficacy stuff. So pick the height, pick the person, pick the environment. Um, if we stand really close to the box, we're going to get some nice vertical component take half a step back and we're now going to get some more horizontal component yeah. too. Because we think about running, it's not only just the horizontal force, but there's a little bit of vertical stuff that sort of comes yeah. a long way. Um, so I think matching up both uh, horizontal force vectors and the vertical vectors, I think is a nice yeah. uh, consideration. Um, pretend skipping or pogos, I, I, I like, you know, bring this low, l lower yeah. level plyometric exercise in. Now, I always say this to my patients, if you're anything like me that is completely uncoordinated <laughs> and will spend the first two or three minutes unravelling the rope from their feet, don't worry about the skipping rope. Yeah. The whole point of the task is to bounce up yeah, and down yeah. on the spot to yeah. manipulate that plyometric ability. So ditch the skipping rope if they're not a skipper. Just get them to bounce up and down on the spot. Um, and I, and Maybe it, boys don't spend enough time skipping oh at no, school. I lost no? a lot of misspent youth, I think, <laughs> in uh, Tamworth riding bikes or climbing trees or something. <laughs> but it is quite nice if you can do a skipping yeah. rope because then you can add in backwards, you know, you can add in two leg, one leg and add in that yep. coordination and cognitive challenge yes, as well. Absolutely. If you can. If you can. And I think from a program <laughs> perspective, too is if we're looking at um, once again if we're always thinking ahead of what's coming next so yeah. our first running program once again we'll discuss this in a bit more detail soon but you know traditionally the first running program isn't it off you go for three k's or five k's mm. and have fun yeah one it's not fun yeah. two they won't be able to complete it yeah. so usually the first running program is only like you know 30 seconds on a minute yeah. on yeah start preparing your athletes in that same kind of fashion. So it's not such yeah. a rude shock for them yeah. when the yeah. time to run comes. So yeah. for something like this, you know, 30 seconds of skipping up and down on the spot, yeah. have 30 seconds to a minute yeah. break, do it again. Yeah. And start preparing yeah. for the, the, that challenge now yes. um, so yeah. that it's not such a rude shock later. That's one, yeah. one simple tip there. Um, running drills, once they sort of um, start getting into running, once again, this kind of stuff can be done a lot earlier, especially mm -hmm. like a, an A march. This is a yep. really simple drill, a very simple gait training drill that probably could yeah. have been started from week two, week yeah. three, to be honest. But if we can carry this on it, and start keeping those running mechanics in the system, yeah. um, that'll also to help that transition into running as well. That would be nice for my boy, yeah. um, the, the multi-league. Yep. Uh, boy too. Yep, that, and high, that high knee. And also to try and get control of that knee extension and then to, sometimes I add in the calf yeah, raise that little with it as yeah, well, which yeah. is really nice uh, to get that triple extension control, isn't yep. it? Yep. Um, so, <clears throat> and probably this is a little bit more advanced, this little ankling drill here moving forward. So we're just really getting that ankle power, mm. you know, just so 
you know, the calf is such an important muscle when it comes to running and especially the speeds that we're running at when you first start running. Yeah. It's going to be the, the power yeah. generator and, and having to deal with a hell of a lot of force. And you don't want to swap out having a knee pain for an Achilles, Achilles. pain <laughs> exactly. because that sometimes happens. Yep. I've seen that too. Yep. So these kind yeah. of simple drills here can be really helpful. And then some very you know, um, simple skipping drills. Yeah. Get that little bounce off the ground. So taking it from that double leg skipping rope yeah. or pogo exercise to a bit more of a single leg popping exercise as well. Simple things like this can go a long way yeah. to prepare yeah. them for what's gonna come next, which really flows